fumbled it. All right, it is seven o'clock. Uh, I'd like to call the meeting to order. This is the virtual regular board meeting of June 17th, 2020. Uh, Diane, would you uh, do the roll call for us? Uh, Karen? Karen, you're on uh, mute. Karen's here. on mute. She says she's here. Carolyn? Here. Diane? Here. Patty? Here. Linda is running late. Tim? Uh, here. Yeah, here. All right, uh, I am going to share my screen so that we can do the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, can you all see my screen? Yes. Yes. One second, I'm gonna make that large. All right, uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to stop screen sharing. If I can get back to the meeting. Why do I always have a hard time going back to the meeting? Why do I have a hard time going back to them? Stop. Why don't you just click on that X for the flag right Stop. Get rid of it. Thank you. I got it. All righty. Okay. Very good. Thank you for. Uh, being patient with me. All right, first on our agenda is approval of the minutes, uh, approval of the minutes of the regular board meeting of May 20th, 2020. Uh, I can make the motion to approve the minutes. Can I have a second? Second. Second, second Patty, thank you. All right, um, I have no comments on the minutes. Uh, we can go around. Patty, do you have anything on those? Nope. Oh, thank you. Carolyn, do you have anything on the minutes? Um, I have a couple. Um, on page three, um, paragraph seven, Ms. Lemke reported that CCS is working on a study. I believe it was realm, the realm study that we were um, talking about. So just to change the word from CCS to Rome, is that okay, Susan? Well, Rome is the name of the study. CCS yeah. is part of it, but it's not only CCS, right? But, but it is the Rome study that we're waiting for, correct? Because they're an entire organization. Okay. No, it's, a, it's not an organization. That's the name of the study. Right, but Realm is actually... Um, it's OCLC. It is... Uh, uh, isn't that a university is involved in that yeah. too, right? Yeah, Columbus, Ohio is working on it. It's a whole group right. of places, including Rails, including CCS, yeah. but the name of the study is the Realm is study. Realm. Okay, because I believe Realm represents a, a huge group that's handling all this testing and uh, what have you. And yeah, CCS I mean, yeah. is a component of that, I think. The, it stands for Reopening Archives, Libraries, and Museums. Museums, yeah. right. Yes. Hey, Carolyn, are you making a motion? Yes. Um, let's see. I motion to amend with this correction. Ms. Lemke reported the realm study. Uh, I second that. Does anybody have any uh, comments on that? So can we go around? Uh, uh, Carolyn, you made the motion. You want to? Um, uh, I'm sorry, Diane. Would you, would you take the roll on that? Starting with Carolyn. Uh, on the change. Yes. Okay, Karen. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you asking me if I accept the yes. change to the motion? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Well, we are. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Carolyn. Yes. Diane. No. Patty? Yeah. I'm sorry, did you say yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tim? Yes. Sue? 
Yes. Okay, so they have passed. All right, thank you. And then um, on page three, liability and workers' compensation insurance, that paragraph. Um, let's see. I motion to amend by including Trustee Derblick requested copies of the bids for liability and workers' compensation insurance and to include in the agenda packet online. We have a second. Doesn't sound like it. Sorry, Carolyn. Okay, no so we are not concerned about being transparent here. Is that what, what I'm getting a no? Second means nobody wants to be transparent. Do you have another motion, Carolyn? Yeah, ask the question. I'm trying to be transparent. I understand I the question, but we well, right now we are reviewing the minutes. So right. in order to make a change on the minutes, you make a motion. If it is seconded, right. it's so my forward. position is if it, Carolyn, my I'm statement still, is Carolyn, Carolyn, I'm still speaking. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. Thank you very much. So the way uh, this operates uh, for everybody on, on the uh, that's on this meeting, uh, in order to make a change on the minutes, uh, you make a uh, trustee makes a motion. If it is seconded, then it can be discussed and voted on. If it is not seconded, then it just dies. Um, so uh, got it. So no second means we're not concerned about transparency. Uh, but I'll move on to the means, next Carolyn, one. Carolyn, no second means no trustee seconded it. So you cannot right. read anything into that. Right. It's a transparency issue. We missed it. Moving on to the next request, page three, health care insurance plan. My motion, my motion, I motion to amend by including Trustee Derblick requested a copy of the health care insurance bid in order to vote and for residents to view. We have a second on that motion. Do not that motion is, uh, Again, no second forward. because we reject transparency. Carolyn? Right. The other one is Carolyn, page, Carolyn, it's Carolyn. page five. I'm sorry. I'm going to call you to order on that. You cannot read into anything when a, when a trustee makes a motion or doesn't make a motion or doesn't second it. Please do I'm not, not reading read into, into anything. I'm making a statement. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, but the your next one is incorrect. Okay. So thank the you. The next one so is we'll on page five and it's under other. And I motion to amend with this correction. Trustee Derblick requested that relevant documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions be included in the agenda packet. Uh, so it says, uh, President Speroni referred to trustees that relevant documents pertaining to discussions be added to the agenda. And what do you want it to say? Relevant documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions be included in the agenda packet online. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, I second that motion. Um, uh, anybody have any comments on that particular one? Can no. you repeat that? Yeah, and can you just tell me where we are on the on page five? Five, thank you. In, in the other. Thank you. And Carolyn, you want to repeat that again, please? Okay. Motion to amend with this correction. Trustee Derblick requested that relevant documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions be included in the agenda packet online. But you want to you want to keep during a board meeting. Do you want to keep during a board meeting? Um, I, I'm not. I I didn't say that, and I'm not sure what that refers to. I'm just saying board meeting packets should pertain this information when it comes to agenda motions and discussions. I mean, I, I'm maybe I'm not understanding what that adds to it. Do I need to say board meeting so we know? Or what did I'm, you just I'm just wondering if you wanted to leave that in there. 
Okay, where can you read it with what you just added? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not following. All right, so it currently states, President Spadoni referred to Trustee Driblick's request that relevant documents pertaining to discussions during board meeting uh, be added to the agenda. And I, I'm, I'm, I think you wanna add uh, agenda motions. Yeah, agenda motions and discussions. And discussions. Okay, but I but the per, the point was that it be added included in agenda packet online. Mm -hmm. To agenda packet online. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Uh, well, I can I, did I second that? I didn't second that. I don't know. Uh, anybody have a comment on that particular one? So, would you read it as we are going to vote on it? Uh, as far as I understand it, it should read, President Spadoni referred to Trustee Driblick's request that relevant documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions during a board meeting be added to the agenda packet online. And then he asked that this be added to the discussion to the June agenda that was remaining. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else has a comment on that one? Um, Karen? Yeah. So we're, we're going to talk about this later anyway, is that right? Right. Yes, right. absolutely. Okay. It's just a change right. the minutes. All right. I, I don't remember it being worded as Trustee Jorblik uh, just said. So uh, I'll probably vote no, but I understand we're going to be discussing it later anyway. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Carolyn? Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm wait, Diane. Anybody else have a comment on that? No, it says no. Okay. Thank you, Diane. Go ahead. Okay, so Karen said no. Carolyn? Uh, yes. Uh, Diane? No. Patty? No. Linda? Are you oh, on mute, you're Linda? Mute Linda, you're on mute. You're on mute. Okay. No. No. Okay, Tim? Uh, yes. And Sue? Unmute yourself. Nope. Nope. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So the motion did not pass. Uh, all right, then I um, uh, revise the, uh, the the motion to approve the amended minutes of the regular board meeting as of May twentieth, twenty twenty. Okay, so that includes the one change. Correct. Okay, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Linda said yes. Okay, Tim? Yes. Sue? Yes. Okay, great. Do we have any public comments, Susan? I did not receive any, I don't think. Let me just take a quick look, double check. No. No, okay. Then I do not have to read my public comment statement. All righty, next item is the treasurer's report. Take it away. I first of all want to say bear with me because I went according to the first thing that didn't have page numbers. So you will not be hearing page numbers. <clears throat> May, the May, it was the 11th month of the fiscal year. 92% of the way th through, uh, <clears throat> th through the year. Revenues, the, uh, the total of revenues were 104% of the budget. <clears throat> Property tax, 103% of the budget. Replacement tax, 118% of the budget. Investment income, 167% of the income of the budget. Salaries were at 90%. Uh, library materials, 75% of the budget. Library operating expense, 67% of the budget. General administration at 78%, employee fringe benefits, 83%, utilities, 84%, and 
capital expenditures, 11% building and equipment at 68%. Ed, Patty? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Anytime. All right. Okay. Um, next, we're going to go to payment of bills. But I do want to mention before we take another vote, I wanted to say this before the last vote, but I forgot. Uh, our, uh, we had a um, a bit of a misunderstanding uh, last meeting. Uh, a couple of trustees wanted to make a comment before a vote. And I do want to uh, point out that in our uh, trustee manual uh, on voting procedures uh, uh, 3B number 7 that once a vote is called for no further comments or discussions will be allowed and it's actually said again on 3C uh, on page 3 at the um, once a vote is called for no further comments or discussion will be allowed so when we do come to a vote let's please keep it uh, at yes no abstain or pass uh, and all our discussions should be happening during the discussion portion all right uh, next item is our payment of bills I make a motion to approve operating expenses of two hundred and two thousand eight hundred and four dollars and seventy nine cents payroll expenses of two hundred and seventy nine thousand sixty three dollars and ninety cents Special reserve expenses of $13,993 for total monthly expense of $495,861.69. Do I have a second on that motion? I do. I am. All right. Uh, I do not have any comments on this motion. Um, we'll go around. Uh, Carolyn, do you have anything on this motion? Um, no. No, thank you very much. Uh, Karen? No. No, Diane? No. No, Linda? No. No, Patty? No. All right, very nice. Uh, Diane, would uh, you take And I say no also. Ah, Sue. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and about, you know, this Zoom meeting, it's, it's harder. Uh, all right, uh, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, Diane, would you take the vote, please? Karen? Yes. Carolyn? No. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Yes. All right, very nice. Uh, we come to the director's report portion of the meeting. Susan, would you want to take it over and give us a run through of uh, happenings? Sure. Last month. Um, well, uh, starting this Monday, so June 15th, we have started up um, some new services. We started up our um, service where people can place holds or ask, call the library and ask people to put things aside for them. And then they uh, get checked out to them. And they, they get an appointment for a specific time to come and pick up their material. And they, um, it's just like in a brown paper bag and it's got their... You know, they've got a number that they have to remember to come and pick up their stuff. Uh, and so far, it's really going very smoothly. It's um, People seem to be very happy with it. They're very happy to be back in the library, even though they're only getting as far as the vestibule and there's no staff out there. Staff is just kind of waving at them from inside. But they still seem to be extremely pleased about that. We have also, uh, we opened up the book return and... Uh, I think I explained last time that Dave actually took the door off of the large meeting room and turned it into a giant book return. So um, that seems to be working very well. And so that's the quarantine room. So nothing is going into its staff work area. It's going into the quarantine room where it will sit for seven days on carts and then it's, uh, then get checked in. So um, it's a little confusing for people because they, they always, you know, normally when you bring something back, it's getting checked in right away. Currently, that's not the case, but so far, people seem pretty happy with that. Um, and then uh, the third thing that got started is computer appointments. So we um, have, at any given time, we can have as many as four people working on computers downstairs. And then there are two more slots for people to use the copier, the book scanner, the fax machine, 
any of those things that they want to use. So um, it's very limited. You know, people still keep asking, when are you going to open? And you know, the answer to that is we're, we're not going to go back to all of the open that we once were until this pandemic has passed. But, but baby steps along the way, we keep adding and adding and adding. So we're now the, we're, our attention is turning to phase four and what we're going to do in phase four and the supervisors and assistant supervisors and I are, are all working on that. So the social committee has made a report on uh, safety measures for once the patrons do start entering the building again. And so we're starting to work in that direction. So those are the kind of the main things going on. We had the summer reading parade, uh, which was a lot of fun. And it was very successful up to the point where there was a car accident that blocked our way right after your house, Linda. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of the end of the parade, but. I didn't know what happened. I just saw the ambulances and fire yeah. trucks. Wow. Yeah. 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 But up till that point, and of course we saw several of you along the route and that was very nice. I we enjoyed that a lot. So thank you for coming out. Happy to ask, answer any questions if you have any. Uh, I have just a couple of comments. Um, so Susan, I got a call from somebody. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, this this today uh, for me to pick up materials, but she said that it, uh, picking up materials starts at 9:30 a.m. That, that probably yeah. Okay. I mean, right. you, but you have you have to call back for anything. Yeah, I know. I got the number and all. I just wanted to say okay. so you're you're opening at 9 a.m. for staff, but the pickup. You're getting materials. everything ready, and right. they're they're staging it basically. Right. Right. Okay. And then and, it closes uh, for short periods during the day to pull the things that haven't been picked up out and put the new right. things back out. Right. So that's nice. That's good. Yeah. I got my I got my number. I got my time. Oh, good. Um, I just wanted to point out page 21. Uh, Trustee Driblick did uh, say that she received a number of questions from residents about the cost of the red lights in the rotunda. So uh, Greg did do an analysis of this. Uh, I believe it's somewhere in the in the area of forty dollars, but uh, that is completely covered by a. Uh, contribution from staff members and trustees to the total amount of $150, which well uh, exceeds the cost of that red light um, program. Uh, so uh, Carolyn, if you would contact those residents who re uh, sent you questions on that and tell them that it actually did not cost anything uh, to the residents, but it was covered by um, tr uh, donations from staff and trustees, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I think I already took care of that at the last time we got an email. Oh, wonderful. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, I have no other comments, questions on the, the um, we'll go around, Karen, we'll start with you. I have a question about the same um, type of uh, notice that Tim got. I got a notice that a book is there and that I need to call and make an appointment. If if we decide, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to wait until I can just go in and pick it up. Will the book remain there or do they send it back after seven days? No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> don't get it. It's, uh, it, it only will be there for a certain amount of time and, and we still don't know exactly when we will be letting people in the building. So oh. it's, it, that may still be a week's off. So, um, yeah, so yeah, you do need to either, either arrange for it to be picked up or, um, or let us, you know, we can, you can always get it again. Right now we can't get things from other libraries though. So if it happened to come from another library and we had already gotten it for you, we would not be able to get that for you because we're not borrowing between the libraries yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I will go around. Diane, do you have anything? Um, once again, I just want to say it, I'm so proud of the Ewing staff having just um, adjusted to all the uh, challenges of the past few weeks because everything is just running very smoothly. And I'm sure behind the scenes, it's not so smoothly. <laughs> yes, it's I smooth, but it. It. Yeah, and I should mention too that at a staff meeting today, they were saying how much they appreciated the board, that not every library's board has been as supportive as you guys have been. So they really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, Linda, did you have something? Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention too, um, I watched that um, Jason's music video. I mean, it was awesome. I mean, everything that you put into the director's report was really informative and, and again, really um, 
really proud of everyone. The one thing I did like to point out too was the resource list that was put in for the COVID. Uh, Linda, we lost you. Airplane went by. <laughs> Linda, we're not hearing you, sorry. We're not hearing. Linda, Linda, hold, hold on to those comments. I don't think she can hear us either. You, Linda. What? There she goes. You can't hear me? Not, not can you repeat? Yeah, we lost the last uh, minute or so. Oh, okay. I was saying, well, my, the, my final point, you know, besides giving my accolades was I really liked the resource list about the COVID-19. And I was wondering too, um, if your different departments had put together maybe an equity list for an anti-racism, you know, type list for the young adult, adult, and maybe the, uh, also with the children's department. Yeah, there is a blog post that's got a compilation on it of um, anti-racism resources and our library and Rachel wrote an introduction to it. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, thank you again for everything that you're doing to address these hot topics. And thank you. Um, all right, that's everything. Okay, Katie, do you have any comments on the? Uh, yes, sir, I do. <clears throat> I was talking to someone from the staff, and they kind of gave directions that I totally didn't understand pertaining to where you drop off your books. Okay. God, the signage is as good as it is. Because I thought it was in the front of the building and not on the side of the building. But the signage was perfect. I don't see where anybody's going to have a problem figuring it out. Thank you. Yeah, the signage is spectacular. It's gone up day by day here, and it's really it's marketing as usual. did a fantastic job with it. So thank you for pointing that out. No problem. It's been a pleasure. Hey, Sue, anything on this? Uh, we're not hearing you, Steve. I, yeah, I'm on my iPad. I'm used to being on my laptop where I can just click it. Um, I would also like to commend the award-winning marketing department. I just am so delighted with all the emails and the social media posts and um, everything, the, the programming and the way that it's being presented and how clever and creative your programming staff has been. Um, you know, it, you're really a, a library of example to other libraries to look at because coming from another library and I see what a lot of other libraries doing and how they're struggling so much and, and you've got such a great staff who rose to the occasion and continues to shine. Thank you. That was very nice to hear from somebody who really knows the other libraries. Thank you, Sue. Carolyn, do you have anything on the uh, director's report? Um, yes, regarding returning to the building, Susan, um, I, I read the, um, the paragraph and some of the statements sound just seem alarming. They're not very definite. Um, you mentioned most sources, for example, you said, say the virus should disappear within 24 hours, then CDC epidemiologists thought 48 hours was plenty for plastic. And, you know, those don't seem very concrete, but then you go on to say that we're following um, Rails' recommendations and quarantine items for a full seven days. I, I haven't seen anything from Rails. Is, is there some um, document you received that that explains this is a process, but that it's also safe for our staff and um, our patrons when they come in. That's my concern. I, I don't see anything very specific about these processes being safe for staff or patrons. So I was wondering what you might have received from Rails. Um, well, uh, Rails took the Center for Disease Controls, you know, and I think that's about as authoritative as you can get. They took their recommendation and doubled it. So that's while we're waiting for the results of the Rome study. Um, I will say that I've been the guinea pig on this. Uh, it is now more than two weeks past my last handling of all of the returned items. And there were like, it was uh, around 3,500 items that I handled 
um, you know, with the gloves, with the mask, being careful. Um, and those things were quarantined. Um, uh, and they are actually recommend that you not like wipe things because that's, you know, just giving, if there is virus on it, that's just giving it a chance to recirculate. So we are following the best practices and there is information on the Rails website. Uh, they have a whole COVID-19 section on it. So yeah. I'm, okay. I'm just interested in where they claim that we should quarantine the items for seven days and that it's safe for staff and patrons. Um, and as far as it, Rails would not make that claim. They, they well, for liability reasons, would never say, oh, it's safe for everybody. They're just saying this, you know, given that the CDC recommends three days for plastic, we're going to double that and make it seven days. And then uh, they did a poll recently of the, of the libraries, and there are libraries that are only doing three days, but by far the majority of them are, are doing seven, just to, just to be doing what Rails is recommending. Well, uh, again, back to the round study, which the purpose of the round study is to determine um, how, how long the virus exists on surfaces. And th their study is in phases. Their first phase, which should be when they can determine how long um, COVID-19 lasts on surfaces, won't be available until at least August. So I'm trying to understand why Rails recommending we do something else when it was their seminar that explained the study being done by, by Realm. Carolyn, what, would, what should the library do in the meantime if they want to try to keep, what do you, I don't understand what you're trying well, to Well, here's say. my point. If the Realm study will not be able to conclude that how long it takes for the virus not to be on surfaces, I don't understand why we're circumventing that. But something else I want to do I don't know what you mean. Can, can you, it, it's like we have to do something in the meantime until we get well, the no, results. We don't have to do anything that's not safe for staff and patrons. And another thing I want to bring to your attention, hospitals have removed all magazines specifically to deter the spread of infection. So I'm trying to understand why, what Rail said that we are now not waiting for the realm study. I get it, you want to distribute items, but I want to know what has been provided to us that guarantees the safety that we're taking these items and sending them right back out into the uh, community, but we're also expecting staff to come into the library. So I'm just asking, where is this documentation? And I really don't want to go on some website and read the whole thing. I just want to see where Rails suggested or recommended that libraries do this rather than wait for the Realm study, which is based on scientific research. So I just need to feel convinced that we can just tell everybody to come in and pick up books and, and it's okay. I, I don't see where that basis is being made. So I'm asking for a copy of it. Is the information not coming from the CDC and then they're doubling it? Yeah, that's my understanding. Okay, that's how what I understand it also. So what? the CDC is stated that that is how long, that it's one day on paper, two days on plastic. Rails is saying that and then we're, they're doubling it. They're taking it from the CDC. They're not but just- We don't know that. We, we don't do know, know that for a fact. We do know we that. We need to see it in documentation. We do know that. Well, you can look up the CDC website and see exactly what they're CDC, stating. Um, I've been there. I've seen no specific guidelines for this. There are. They do have recommendations for paper and plastic and they how do. long the virus and is estimated to survive. For right. COVID-19. Yes. yes. And steel. And well, then, so we should be steel. able to... Okay, so we should be able to document that. I mean... Well, Carolyn, it's on the website. I mean, I certainly, I can tell it in writing, but it doesn't All right, so then, like what's the purpose of the round study? The, the thing with the CDC epidemiologist is that when the library staff were listening to him, they didn't feel like he was taking into consideration the circumstances under which library materials 
are used. And so that the whole purpose of the realm study is to study how the virus survives in a library type setting under a circumstance where things are passed from person to person. It's a different set of circumstances. It is a phased study, as you said, and my understanding is that they uh, will be finished with the first phase of it quite soon. So we'll have some information. But, you know, we're following the practice of our surrounding libraries. I think many uh, libraries are, not every library is accepting returns yet, but uh, uh, virtually all of the libraries are doing some kind of curbside pickup at this point. And many libraries have stopped taking returns. We've stopped for a long time till we knew more. But, you know, if the rest of the board also has a concern about this, we can certainly discuss what we're doing. And if, if you don't think that we should be having staff back in the building yet, we don't have to have staff back in the building yet. Well, Susan, maybe you can uh, send us a couple of the links that sure. you found uh, with the, those recommendations. Absolutely. I, I think it's important that as a board, we receive the documentation that specifically allows us to do this. And, and, and I know I can go on the CDC website, I've been reading this stuff for months, but I'd appreciate it if you could provide the specifics to us. Well, and I would Susan feel said she would everywhere. Go. It's so. been everywhere, all over the okay. news. Very nice. Let's, but it's let's not specific it, to libraries. All right. Well, Susan, uh, Carol and Susan said she would provide us with links. So uh, let's move on from there, topic. Yeah, well, and let me just remind you all that you all can sign up for the Rails newsletter and then you would be getting this information for yourself. And right. I Thank highly you. recommend that if you want to know more. All right, very good. Let's move on uh, to the next item of business. So wait, I'm, I'm not finished. If you don't mind, I had a couple other things I wanted to mention. Um, on page 25, um, I wanted to thank and congratulate Leslie and Karen for an incredible job. They made 154 calls to outreach homebound patrons, as well as making emails or sending emails. Um, their sincere efforts to touch the lives of homebound patrons is highly commendable, and I want to thank them very much. I just thought that was awesome, especially during this time. And then on page 27, um, CCS. Oh, while Rails delivery between libraries has been suspended, patrons have only been able to place holds on items owned by the Niles Main Library for pickup here. So, um, Susan, do we know how much longer Rails is going to um, prevent the delivery between libraries? Do you know anything about that? Uh, Rails is restarting delivery. Um, I think it's the 28th. Yeah. I, well, I think this one is two phase. I think the first one is tomorrow, where they take all the stuff that they picked up before COVID 19 and is in their sorting area now, which I understand is 43,000 items. They're going to disperse those out to all of the libraries. You will, we will then have a chance to, when they drop our stuff off, to send stuff back to the other libraries that we had taken in. And then they will deliver again the following week the stuff that other libraries sent to them. And then you have the choice of restarting delivery, but CCS has decided not to start delivering in between the libraries yet. Uh, we're gonna discuss it at the July 8th governing board meeting. Uh, and precisely for the concerns that you've been raising about how do you know that things have been quarantined long enough and and okay. quarantining before they go in the box and then after they go in the box and all of those things. So, okay, all right, that was my last question. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, all right, next item of business uh, is uh, I make a motion to adopt ordinance 20-03, an ordinance setting the schedule of meetings of the Board of Trustees of the Niles Main District Library for the fiscal year commencing July 1st, 2020 and ending June 30th, 2021. Do I have a second on that? Second. Uh, let's, Diane, I heard Diane. Uh, Diane seconds. Okay, this is uh, on page 33 and basically it's just our schedule of meetings. So uh, I have no comments on this other than, uh, well, we're not listing that, uh, which ones will be Zoom and which ones won't, but. Obviously, we'll follow whatever guidelines we need to for our meetings. Um, anybody have any comments on this? 
I could start with uh, Diane. You seconded. Do you have anything on this one? Uh, no, thank you. No, Linda. No, Sue. Do you have anything on this? Well, I mean, we're gonna go to have a board meeting on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> well, not everybody is Irish. <laughs> you know, it's it's a shame, but not everybody is. Irish. And April is the day before my birthday, so uh, but I'm good with it. Well, not everybody's born on your birthday too, so I, I don't know what to say. Daddy, do you have anything on this? No, don't hear anything. Uh, Carolyn, do you have anything on these? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Thank you, Karen? No. Uh, all right, uh, Diane, would you take a roll, please? Karen? Carolyn? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Sue? Yes. Sue says yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Next item is uh, 10B. I make a motion to approve that the Niles Main District Library continue to participate in the non resident library card Illinois program and charge an annual fee of $299 based on the formula established by the Illinois State Library. Uh, second. Do I have a second. Thank you. I'm sorry, who seconded? Linda. Linda, right, thank you. Uh, I have no discussion on this. Uh, unless Su uh, Susan, do you have anything to say on this particular um, item? It's a calculation that we make every year and right. we have to do it this month and put it on the rail site. It's really serious to it. Very good. Uh, all right, Linda, it's a second. Do you have anything on that? Yeah, I just have um, a question because it says here charge an annual fee of two ninety nine. Is it two ninety nine per individual or per family? I think family. It, yeah, if it could be specified, I think that would be best. Rather than so, it is per family. Yes. Per household. Household. Yeah. Per household. Yeah, yeah that household. would be nice if it's put in there per household. All right, so we are changing the motion uh, to read an annual fee of $299 per household based on the formula established by the Illinois State. Yeah, I think I believe that's a little clearer. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh, Sue, got anything on this one? No, I think that's pretty standard, thanks. Right, Patty? No, it sounds standard to me. Carolyn? No, I'm good, thanks. You're welcome. Karen? Nope, Karen says no. Uh, Diane? No comments. Great. All right, uh, Diane, would you take a uh, roll on this one? Okay, Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Kim? Yes. Joe? Yes. All right, motion passed. Um, I, unfortunately, I seem to be working with the old agenda. I know we had a... Uh, a change to it. Uh, what's the next item? Is it is it the uh, adding documents or is it the discussion on the on the, it's uh, the adding documents? Adam, okay, all right. Uh, all right. So the uh, next item on our agenda is a discussion of adding all documents to the meeting agenda following the meeting. Uh, so, um, Carolyn, this was your item. Uh, we'll need a we'll need a uh, maybe an explanation of it, and then if you can give us. Uh, an explicit motion that we can vote on, that would be great. Um, you know what, this wasn't, the the agenda item is not my request. Um, this was a statement that was in discussion. I guess what I don't understand is following the meeting, what, what does this sentence actually imply? Oh, well, I think sometimes documents are distributed during a meeting, and so I thought that was what you were referring to. So okay. why don't you explain what you really want? What I was trying to request was that um, any documents pertaining to agenda motions or discussions that we receive should be included in the agenda online so residents that are following the meeting can see what it is, in fact, that I'm, agree I'm voting on or the details about the subject we're discussing. 
um, I know some things are included and some things aren't. I know sometimes, like today, we got emails with attachments um, for tonight's meeting. And, um, well, I guess an, an email is a lot simpler. I'd like to see when you're giving the trustee something that it's included online in the agenda as well. But it wasn't that I wanted it to happen after the meeting. I thought it would be part of the process. But I take that back. In our conversation last week, or was it last month, whenever the last time this came up, I did mention that I wanted a copy of a document. Oh, it had to do with the insurance, the health insurance and the liability uh, workers' compensation because uh, the documents weren't included. And I think, Tim, that's where the app following the meeting came in, because I said they should be included. So that was specific to that meeting. But in general, I'd like to see the documents we receive also included in the online agenda. All right, could you state your motion? Um, the motion would be... Um, I motion that relevant documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions. Oh, a little slower. Relevant documents pertaining, pertaining to agenda motions and discussions be included in the agenda packet online. All right, uh, can I have a second on this? Uh, well, you know what, I, I will make a second on this because I don't mind discussing this item at all. Um, so uh, my, uh, so you, you explained what you needed. Um, did you have any more that you wanted to say on this item, Carolyn? No, no, but I'm interested in hearing, you know, everyone else's opinions sure. and comments, thanks. Yeah, you're very welcome. Uh, Karen, do you have anything on this item? Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what the word relevant means in this context. I mean, the word relevant is very broad, uh, so I'm not really sure what duty that would impose on our library director. What, what does relevant mean? So I think in, in order for me to be able to vote, I'd need something more precise. Okay. Carolyn, would you like to maybe amend that? Well, the terminology that we use, it could be a bid or, um, for example, um, how would I identify the abatement documents we received from Greg Fritz? The documents they give us during a board meeting, which are relevant to the, the, the agenda item, should also be included. Or should I say the documents that they provide us? Why, why don't you just get rid of the word relevant? Uh, relevant. I mean, it's okay, documents so, all pertaining to agenda motions and discussions. Okay. All right. That'll work for me. Right. Documents yeah. pertaining to agenda motions and discussions. Is that better, that Lynn? Better. Karen? Uh, pertaining to is... To me, just sort of the same was relevant. I, I, I don't know exactly how you draw the line there. Okay, the documents are created by the administration, so they would be drawing the line. I'm just asking that the documents provided by them are included in the online agenda. I'm not creating the documents or trying to per, come up with parameters for documents. So I don't know, maybe I'm not stating it so clearly, or it seems to be getting complicated, I'm not sure. Uh, well, I don't know, Karen. I, I think it's any documents that are, 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 are part of the agenda of motions and dis discussions. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, I don't see a problem with that, but I don't want to jump on your comment. Um, I would need a clarification on that. There are sometimes documents that are prepared fairly soon before the board meeting that are handed out on paper in person or sent out by email before the meeting. Um, 
that they're just not ready to go before the meeting. And so one thing that came up last time was the idea of should we be adding those things to the agenda? And the question was, you know, can you change an agenda after a meeting has taken place? And I think that that's a question. Ah, ah, yeah, Carolyn. Um, I don't know that adding supporting documentation to agenda items is changing the agenda. If, and I understand items can't be ready the Friday before. So when they're given to the trustees, I understand they could also be included in the online agenda. Can you not attach them once you create them? Is that not possible, Susan? We could. I mean, the example you used of this afternoon, though, would be a document for an executive session, and those would never be put online. Well, I'm not discussing uh, executive session. I'm talking and about clarify that in the motion. I would uh, say. Well, we would never put executive session anything on, on online for the public to see, correct? So, Carolyn, if you just said uh, documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions during uh, uh, a regular meeting. Okay. That would do take care of that. Be included All right. In the agenda online. All right. Uh, so can I read that motion? You, yes, you may. Okay, uh, move that documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions be included in the online agenda for a regular meeting. Is that correct? That's fine with me. That's fine. Okay. Woohoo, moving along. Uh, Karen, anything else on that? Yeah, I, I still what, included in on the agenda in the agenda. Well, on, as a link, the, the documents we, we currently have a link to the documents mm -hmm. uh, on our agenda on our online agenda. I think Carolyn just wants all the documents that have been included for our meeting to be added as a link to the agenda, the way other documents are included. So, are you saying all the documents that are provided to board members? Is that is that what you're saying, Carolyn? Um, items that we receive for regular agenda items should also be included in the online agenda, yes. Okay. Uh, Diane, did you have anything on this? Uh, I think you're on mute, Diane. Sorry, right, I was getting some feedback from her, so I muted her. There you go, you're off. I still need some clarification. I'd like to hear an example of what kind of document you're looking for. <coughs> included. Is that to me? Uh, yes. Well, yes. Okay. I'm not looking for any kind of documents. All I'm saying is when we have an agenda item and Susan or Greg provide us with an attachment or backup, explaining the purpose of the agenda I would like that documentation also to be included in the online agenda I would just like to see an example of what you're talking about and when, when for example was this the abatement the abatement uh, a month ago when Greg Prince provided could we just go around and then Carolyn at the end talk so that we can just all get our, our discussion? Oh, you don't want me to answer the question? Okay, uh, go ahead. No, no, no. I think I, Diane is asking Carolyn a specific question. So let's okay. let Diane finish her comments. Then we'll yeah, move I would forward. just like uh, specifically to, I would like an example, specific okay. example of what you would like. Okay, do you recall the abatement meeting? Greg sent us two documents. One was... I they were think, spread, I think they were spreadsheets, Carolyn. They were like spread, spreadsheets. Two spreadsheets, okay. Right. And um, they were we received them and we referenced this information in order to vote on an agenda item. I'm saying the I the documents he gives us, like those two for the abatement, should also be included on the online agenda. A link to them, right? Linked, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll think. I'll think about it. Okay. Okie doke. <laughs> Linda? 
I'm going around, so I'll get to you. Okay. Um, the only thing I have to say is I've been to um, school board meetings, village board meetings, um, other government meetings, and no, I don't have access to every single paper that is passed out to the board members. Um, I could see maybe after certain ones, but uh, I've never seen more all papers that were given out to board members for links to the community. I guess we could decide what would be sent out just for transparency, but I don't foresee that everything has to be before. I think that's a lot of um, work, but that's my point. Okay. Thank you. So, um, I'm just thinking if you start, if you add something after the agenda has already been posted online within the frame of time that is required by law for an agenda to be posted, and then you add something, is that essentially an amendment of an agenda and therefore it may be uh, put up too late for the parameters that agenda needs to be posted. So I think if we, we have to probably check and make sure if we're gonna start adding things, if that's inappropriate to do legally. And then perhaps then just a consideration of making sure that all of those additional documents are added to the minutes post meeting so at least that would be transparent enough for the community to see what the documents were that we had discussed. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, and I actually have, uh, then I have a comment too. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Patty, you're next on, on our line. Sorry, hit no, the wrong okay. button. Um, the things she's mentioning are usually on slides. So if they're watching the meeting, they would see it on the slides. Is that not sufficient? Um, are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking. Um, no, the fact that it's a slide, everything, everything we receive isn't a slide, but the key here is as trustees, we are voting on motions and in order to vote on that motion we're given documentation to justify why the, the library is asking us to vote so that's critical everything we discuss or everything we receive is not necessarily a um on is not necessarily a presentation okay i understand what you're saying so thank you okay uh i'm next i uh all the documentation is, is is in some form that can be linked to it. It's either a spreadsheet or it is a uh, Word doc or it's a PDF or it is a uh, um, 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 PowerPoint. Uh, when we do, uh, our, we are already providing links to those documents uh, in our agenda before our meeting when those documents are available for those agenda items. Uh, and I'm not opposed to including whatever has been provided to the board during a meeting as a link to that agenda item. Uh, the only question I do have though is can we legally do it? Um, and I would suggest that we ask Susan to uh, find out if that's actually uh, legal for us to do it, to, to, if that's considered a change to the agenda or not. Uh, if it is not something that we're allowed to do, then I think that we have to rediscuss it. Uh, so I uh, would actually like to ask Carolyn if you would um, table the motion until Susan can find out if that's valid for us to actually do really? it. Because I, I think that's a valid question. No, it's a good point. It is. Because right. I guess we do need 48 hours. Right. So I'm not sure then what, and, and I think it's a really, uh, it's a very good question because I'm not sure then what we, what we do. Maybe we would then have uh, not actually attach it to the physical agenda, but maybe have another portion that had additional links or something, you know, uh, links provided. Information. After, some, something like that so that those documents are available. Because I, I think it's good relevant point. to have those documents available too. Um, All right, that's a good idea. Back. So let's, uh, uh, if we can, Carolyn, if you would uh, be agreeable to tabling it until Susan. Absolutely. Can. Um, do you want me to motion to table uh -huh. or do you want to? 
Uh, I'm fine Karen, with it. Karen had a, 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 her hand up. I'm in there. Can I, can I yeah, talk absolutely. now? Thank you. Okay. Um, I had a question too, and that is, um, I just wanted to know from administration if they can see any problems or difficulties with it that perhaps we're not foreseeing at this point. And also, I did have a question of how this would work um, when perhaps one of our staff members has come up with a PowerPoint, you know, just minutes before the meeting has run off a photocopy of it, and there's really no time to put any link up to those documents. Um, so those are, and I, I'm not sure how that would that would work at that uh, in that instance. So I, just before we moved on, I, I did want to give our uh, administrators an opportunity to express any concerns that they might have about how such a change would impact the work that they would need to do. Sure. Uh, Diane, actually, you had uh, your hand up. Um, on Boardbook, where I add the video under extra, I can always just add links to any additional uh -huh. documents as extra. All right. Uh, well, do, do we want to just, Carolyn, do you want to just amend your? Um, if you don't mind. Yeah, oh, go ahead, Susan. Yeah. I, I, it will incur a lawyer's fee for me to check this with the lawyers. So I, maybe you could see if you have enough people that are interested in doing this before I spend that money. Sure. It is uh, a, the uh, other, my other concern would be, sure. uh, you know, we do try to put Doc, get documents ready in advance, but there are some documents that are prepared closer to the time. I sure. feel a little bit like um, it would constrain what we put up, you know, if we have, I don't know, a, a PowerPoint that shared lots of pictures of children and some activity. I don't know that I would want to put that on the internet necessarily. So um, I, I'm a little, you know, I, I we try what to get the legalities with that. Um, it's a little, a little fuzzy. We always say that if you're attending a program, you are giving permission to have your picture taken. But you know, I, I'm just trying. To, that's just one example. I'm just trying to think if there are other examples. To play, to play devil's know? advocate on that one, Susan. To play devil's advocate on that one, we are recording the minute the meetings. So well, whatever but, yeah. you're showing is going to be out there. Uh, not a hundred percent. There have been times where they have. Uh, blocked out the video because there was something in particular we did not want to show put on the internet. All right. So I, I, I would just at least like to have. I understand. Question. I think I think in re in general, the documents that we're referring would not be sensitive. I think we would all understand if there's some sort of a sensitive information that you wanted to block out, you could do that. Um, and it, you know, it, like in in uh, response to our, uh, Diane's comment about what type of documents. Like I, I, today I referenced the uh, library trustee manual. So that's not part of the agenda. We could put a link after this meeting, after we're all done, if we had a separate link section for this meeting, and here's a link to the library trustee manual since I, I referenced it. Mm -hmm. I think that myself, I'm not, I think that's a reasonable thing to do. I, I like links to these documents. Uh, I have talked about this before as I, I like I would like our, our board page to be as comprehensive as possible with as many documents as possible so that we can reference them uh, in future for past meetings. So I think uh, let's, uh, can, can we agree, or um, Carolyn, can you, can you uh, let's say, amend the motion that documents pertaining to, to motions and discussions be included on the online agenda for the regular meeting or on a separate uh, link on the on the board web page. If we include separate links on the board web page, that would, I think, suffice for what you're trying Fabulous. to do. That's oh. fine. All right. So can I accept your motion? Uh, yes. You amended did. motion? Okay. Yes. I think it's fine. All right. All right. I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to pass, <laughs> but exactly. we've got it worded. <laughs> Good point. All right. So the motion as it stands is, I believe, that documents pertaining to agenda motions and discussions uh, be included on the agenda online for regular meetings or on separate links on the, on the board web page. All right. Uh, Karen, you got some, some... Well, I still have a question. What happened to referring it to our attorneys for their advice? I thought we were going to do that. 
when, uh, because we're not uh, we're not changing the agenda, and we're not incurring uh, costs in asking our our attorney. Hmm. Wait, 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 are you are you now saying that they wouldn't be added to the agenda? That they would always go into a separate section? If they're not available at the time of creation of the agenda, and they're brought up during the meeting, then they could be included on separate links uh, for that portion of the board meeting, the board web page. Okay. Wouldn't that suffice? That's not changing the agenda, but it's, oh, it's, it's allowing for those documents to be linked. To be clear, it would not be going on the website. It would be going into board book. So I don't know exactly how that would go in the link on the website. It, it's, I don't know, it seems messy to me, but. So it would be in the board book. Right. Under extra. You, yeah, you'd have to know to go right. look for that. Yes, right. Right. When you go to see the video, they would be listed. Yes. 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 Okay. All right, are we all, are we, any more questions? Are we all clear on, on what we're talking about? No more questions. All right, Whew. nice discussion. All right. Uh, Diane, uh, would you take the roll on this? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're voting on the amended motion. Correct. Uh, Carolyn? No, I'm sorry, Karen? You know, I, I'm going to abstain because I'm still not really sure if I feel comfortable with voting for this and how this is going to work. So I'm just going to abstain. Okay. Carolyn? Yes. Diane? No, at this time. Patty? I'm not sure. I'm going to abstain. Linda? I'm going to abstain also. Tim? Yes. <laughs> and Sue? Just the legality of it still is murky to me, so I'm abstaining also. All right. All right. Well, uh, clearly we need to uh, try to uh, come up with a little bit more uh, work on this then. So uh, maybe offline, uh, Susan, you and I can hash out a little bit on this because I, I kind of like this idea as well. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Carolyn, uh, for your discussion. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate your help. You're welcome. All right. Uh, I, oh, again, uh, what's the next item on the agenda? Because I had uh, the budget discussion. Okay. All right. So I did want to say something on this. All right. Last meeting, um, I had mentioned that uh, the board uh, previously agreed to the um, methodology that the staff uses in order to um, come up with the agenda. And uh, Carolyn, you had asked what meeting did we agree to that? Mm -hmm. So uh, Greg pointed me to the meeting, but I did a bit more research. And uh, on the November 15th, 2017 meeting agenda item 11D, we had a budget planning discussion uh, at uh, the hour, uh, one hour, 51 minute to two hour, oh, three minute. Uh, Carolyn, you discussed your vision of the process. Uh, Linda pointed out that the only restrictions that the Illinois Public Library stat statues list is that the budget should support the mission and strategic plan. At that point, the board asked uh, Carolyn to supply documentation uh, for the budget process you would like to see. Then on the following meeting, December 13, 2017, we had a discussion of board process, budget process again. That started at the 50 minute mark. Uh, at the one hour and 17 minute mark, Karen summed up the discussion saying that since no motion had been put to the board, we would continue as we had done in the past. Uh, we also continued the discussion until the hour 32 minute mark. And uh, we asked Carolyn to create a motion for the next meeting. In our January 17th meeting, uh, we had another uh, item on the agenda to, for the budget process. We discussed uh, starting at the hour three minute mark and we ended it at the hour 53 minute mark. And then we also decided that Tim and Carolyn would have a separate meeting to uh, discuss the budget. Uh, and then the February 21st, 2018 meeting, uh, we finally had a motion that Carolyn made to implement a budget review process that would include performance measures. 
uh, to show effectiveness by linking expenditures with measurements. At the two hour and 12 minute uh, mark, the board voted against the measure. And uh, I calculated that the board uh, spent a total of 2.3 hours over four meetings discussing the budget process. And we did not make any changes to the process, uh, thereby um, accepting the way it is. Done. So uh, if you want to check those board meetings and those minutes and those videos, you are more than welcome to. But that's where we uh, discussed these board process. Um, actually, Tim, what we discussed for those two hours and whatever minutes were my request to implement a budget review process. Correct. And every time we discussed it, it was rejected. Correct. But according to you, at our last board meeting, the board uh -huh. voted to accept some current some current process. We well, never voted to accept. Uh, any uh, see, Carolyn, uh, let's say let's say the room is painted okay. red. And somebody says, let's paint the room green. And we all vote against painting the room green. De facto, we are accepting the room is red. So yes, we accepted the current process by specifically voting not to change it. All right, there's a lot okay. that that's the way it works. Okay, so, so we voted not to change correct. the process, but we did not vote to say that a trustee could not question the board packet or the well, budget packet. Okay, so Carolyn, according to our trustee manual, we say that uh, on page three of our manual, uh, number four, seven, once an issue has been decided, it will not be revisited unless new information has come to light that could change the result. So we don't revisit an item just because of a uh, desire uh, to revisit it. We revisit it in, in if new information has come to light. So if you have okay. any information. And my position was that Greg right. Pritz provided us with a budget document, some 58 pages, mostly narrative, okay. which wasn't revisiting anything. He stated numerous, numerous statements that were not accurate and I wanted to question where he came up with that information. Yeah, I didn't Part say- Part of the budget process, that information was used for the figures that he then put together. So I had every right to ask questions about comments he made. And actually, what I'd like to state for the record- Well, Carolyn, I, okay, before you state that, I didn't say you couldn't ask those questions. I just said- Yes, that you not, did. I said you, you couldn't- Silence me. I said we were not going to discuss the budget process. I wasn't and discussing the process. I had questions happened? in his narrative and you told me that I could not ask those questions well, because, because the board all right, approved Carolyn, the process. Yes, all right, Carolyn. I tried to stop you because I specifically wanted to use a process that I had said we were going to follow, which was going section by section. And I said, you could ask your questions when we hit those particular sections. And I said, you could ask any of, that's what I said. And you, just, you just kept, I, I'm talking, Carolyn. Go ahead. Thank you. And I said, let's, let's uh, address any questions you have on any line items in any sections that we had on the budget, but you refused. And I finally just, I couldn't take it any longer. You emotionally pushed me down so much that I just finally relented and let you ask whatever questions you want. But I could I not ask. Follow, I'm still talking. All right, I let me know when you're follow, done. I tried to follow a process by which we systematically went by each section and then listed each line item and discussed it and went around a section. But I failed to be able to contain because you wanted to do it your way. So we, we ended up doing it the way you wanted. So I don't see why you have any complaints. No, excuse me. You excluded the first 45 pages of his narrative, which was filled with statements that I had questions about. In the budget that you started reviewing, the documents are simply line items yes. without any yes. subcategories. So Correct. any of the statements that I had questions about could not be interjected or identified. I don't why see why not. Why did I have not? Why did you 
silence me and not allow me to ask Greg questions when he was reading this narrative. Because I, I just explained. I just explained. I, it seems like you and I cannot understand this. We seem he to silenced talking. my question. Why do you keep talking when I'm talking? I'm going to mute you if you don't stop interrupting me. Do you understand that? So I will try to explain one more time. And do not talk until I'm finished, okay? I would appreciate that. So I did not say you couldn't ask questions about the process, the, the, Greg's document. I merely wanted to go order by order in each section when a particular line item had uh, a budget item that you want that referenced what Greg had done earlier. That's when I wanted to have that question uh, asked. But you you said you couldn't follow that, so we finally relented. So you got to ask all your questions as far as I no, could I see. Didn't. Okay. Well, Carolyn, maybe uh, the you know there was there was too much time that the, the, we just could not devote enough time that you Tim? needed. But uh, I'm still talking. Why 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 can I not finish what I'm saying? Well, I'm sorry. When you pause, I think you're finished. I apologize. No. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 get it on record. Video on record. All right. The way I speak, there are very many times that I pause. Sometimes I am not finished, okay? That's my style. So please allow me to complete what I say before you start talking. That would help all these meetings, and I would appreciate it. All right, so let's agree to disagree on what happened at last meeting. Now we have another opportunity to discuss the budget, and anybody has any questions, we can, but a very limited time because we already approved the budget last meeting. So I don't know what other discussions that you might have, but we already approved the budget last meeting, but we did agree to put this line item on our agenda for this month. All right, so does anybody have any further comments on the budget that we approved on the last meeting? Well, let's just go around. I'm going to start with Karen. Uh, I have no further comments. I believe we thoroughly discussed it at our last meeting. Right. Thank you. Diane, do you have anything further on the budget? No, I am totally satisfied. Thank you. Thank you. Patty? No. Got anything? No. Linda, do you have anything on the budget? I do not. Thank you. And I like your outside. Um, Sue, do you have anything on the budget? I do not. I do not. Carolyn, I assume you do. What do you have on the budget that you wanted to rediscuss? Well, today? I just want to state for the record that at our budget meeting, I had requested to ask questions of Greg Pritz regarding his budget narrative. I sent you a text while Greg was speaking because I didn't want to interrupt him. You told me when I wanted to add, when I requested- you have questions on the budget, Carolyn? About this, the narrative. This, uh, Carolyn, this is an opportunity. Carolyn, this is not an opportunity to me. ask about budgets. Started not about on page meeting. 45. Oh my my question cannot be answered by looking at the Excel spreadsheet. And since you want, you don't want to spend time to go through 45 pages because it's not a budget meeting, what can I do? But you, you silenced me and you should have allowed me to ask my question. Are you done, Carolyn? Can Are I you please done? Say something? Thank you. All I have to say. Right. I uh, appreciate Carolyn, that. Wonderful. Can I please say something? Sure. Thank you, Patty. Um, in my opinion, we had a budget meeting, which means let's go line by line, which you're always asking us to do, and you proceeded to go elsewhere instead of going line by line. That was a little frustrating on my part since I felt we were trying to do what you like us to do. Thank you. Can I respond? Patty, okay. I never said that we should go line by line and just read the amounts on our Excel spreadsheet. I have been against this process for five, six years now. There's you no said let's go line by line and discuss. You didn't discuss. You were going off on some tangent. The narrative of 45 before the page 45 should have been discussed. That's where the crux of this budget was created. That's where my questions come in, based on Greg Pritz's statements. But you refuse to allow me to ask questions. 
A budget is not just a figure on an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, well, we did put this on the agenda so that any trustee who had still had questions could ask their questions. So Greg is here, I am here. If you have any questions, please do bring them out. Oh, I have many. I'll be more than glad to just go through this document. Of course, since I wasn't aware that you were going to allow me to speak tonight, I'm not prepared as I was last week. All right, we can move forward. So give then. me a minute. Oh, I was going to move forward. Well, are you going to, do you want me to ask my questions when I find them, or do you not have time? Since, you know, if you would have contacted me and let me know, I, I could have been prepared for it tonight. It was on the agenda. It says discussion. I have no idea what that means. He told me that I could not discuss these questions. I didn't know he was going to let me do it tonight. What changed? All I ask is if you do have questions, if you can make them precise and to the point so we can get them answered quickly and move on. And not grandstand. I'm going to read Greg's statements. Those are my questions. <laughs> Look, this will be on the agenda again next month, so if you're not prepared with your questions tonight, you could certainly raise them next month. Well, you have to, well, I'm not, it's going to take a lot more than five minutes, so are you going to allow me more than five minutes? Then would you want to do it next time? I don't know. What do you want? I don't know what you guys want from me. How much time do you think you'll need? To go through this entire narrative? There's, I had 10 pages of questions. I just, how much time do you think you'll need? Oh, I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. I because I'm expecting to have dialogue with Greg. Do you, do you expect it to be an hour, two hours? No, or, no, no. Uh, how much time do you think you'll need? Do you, do you have an estimate of how much time you think you'll need? I don't know, maybe thirty minutes or less. Thirty minutes, less. All right, go ahead, start. Now I'm not, I don't have my documents ready for tonight. I wasn't prepared to do this. All right, then uh, let's table this agenda item until uh, next month, and then maybe you could be more prepared. Hey, so Carol, next can, month, can I ask you a question? Is, is there any way that you could like just talk to Greg, right. not no, in a board no, meeting? No, because, because these issues are relevant to the budget and how we arrived at the figures we're using. I understand that, but maybe you'll get a bunch of answers that you won't, then you'll be like, okay, I don't really need to spend all that time at the board meeting with all of these volunteers who are spending their time here having to listen to you and then the questions are could have been answered in advance. Okay, here's the issue. We should have had a budget review process and I should have been allowed. Uh, that, that's, that's not the question that I asked that's, you, that's Carolyn. Under water on the I bridge. Let's you, move you forward. No, it's not what Greg in the same, the same situation exists. The right. purpose and the reason Actually, then, still exists. The question is, just the whole problem is, is I just need to get your questions answered. So get them answered. And then if it's something extremely relevant that we could all think about, then bring that to the table. It might be something very simple for a question. Nothing is simple. They're Greg's statements that I, I would yeah. like to explain. You know That's okay, all well then, to okay, then the, the board is recommending that you contact Greg outside no. of the meeting. Why not? What's wrong with because that? I want it in a board meeting because I want to discuss it. Well, and because you can't, well, we don't want to discuss it with you. No. So, well, that was why you silenced me what last. The no, why I silenced you? I silenced so why change reasons. now? Emotional reasons. All right. So uh, the board recommends, Carolyn, that you contact Greg offline and ask the relevant, the, the questions that you have on his presentation. If you feel that there's anything that the board needs to know, Based on that discussion, please bring it to the board's attention during the night. The board needs to make decisions on all of these statements. All right, why don't why don't you? And not... I'm not going to talk to Greg and then turn okay. around and bring it back to the board then, meeting. That's it's fine. That's, that yeah. is your decision. The board is I will recommending. Just bring what it you to do. the board. The board is recommending what Carolyn. Why don't you let me talk? That would be great. The board is officially recommending that you discuss these items offline with Greg and bring to the board any items that you feel are completely relevant. At this time, the board is not, it doesn't uh, feel that we're, that your, your personal discussion on these items is uh, that the board is going to spend time at this meeting. 
So Okay, maybe I didn't state this correctly. The statements that were made in this narrative affect the decision that this board voted on. Yeah, and we've already voted. But you have no idea what's in the narrative because you didn't bring we it up. We read the God Lesson. Okay, narrative. Carolyn, please don't Nerd. make a statement about what we have an idea of and what we don't have an idea of. As far as I know, you don't have the ability to read our minds. So let's not make a presumption that you know what we know. Okay? So we, we're making a statement. Please uh, talk to Greg offline and bring back anything that you feel is absolutely relevant that will cause us to change a vote on a particular line item. Okay? Okay. And, 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 and Thank out you. of respect for my time, Yes. I don't want to duplicate my time talking to Greg when uh -huh. I know I'm going to turn around and bring it to the board because I've already pulled out all of these issues which I know are relevant. Okay. But I'm pointing out that he made these statements and we as a board need to reconsider what we're doing. Well, the board is not agreeing with you at this time. So, Can I just point so out? Are you just silencing me? That's fine. You did it last week. Why not stay We made it? a recommendation. We're not silencing you. We made a recommendation that you talk to Greg outside the board meeting. That's that's for okay. Okay. Right. And may I just interject just for a second? Greg does the majority of the work on the budget. He is the business manager, but I wrote some of that document as well. And I would encourage the board to have if you still have questions about any any of the ways that we arrived at some of the statements in there please do ask us but email you know give us a give us some questions we'll be happy to try to answer them okay so at this point i am going to make a motion i am going to make a motion that any trustee who has additional questions on the budget presentation contact uh susan and greg after this meeting and before the next meeting, either uh, personally, on the phone, or through email, and have their questions answered and resolved. Can I have a second on that motion? Second. Thank you, Patty. Can we add a motion that's not already on the agenda? It's a concerning an item on the agenda. So my understanding is you can make a motion on something that's on the agenda. Just checking, thank you. Thank you. Does anybody have a discussion on that motion? Patty. No, let's get it over with. Thank you. Sue. No. Linda. No. No. Diane. If uh, the trustee decides not to do that, that would be her choice. Absolutely. So either do it or not. Okay. Karen. Thank you. You're, uh, you're on mute, Karen. Karen, you're on mute. I'm sorry. I All was right. trying not to make noise. But anyway, um, I mean, it's fine with me. I'm not sure what we would do if someone refuses to call Greg and ahead of time, though. It'd be their decision. Carolyn, right. do you have any discussion on that motion? No. Great. Uh, Diane, can I take a roll? Karen? Yes. Carolyn? I'm abstaining. Diane. Uh, yes. Patty. Yes. Linda. Yes. Tim. Yes. Sue. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. At this time, we are going into executive discussion. Uh, I'm sorry, executive session to discuss the appointment, uh, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific of the Niles Main District Library. What time is it? It is uh, 8 29. So our, our participants, our attendees, uh, will not be allowed to be part of this uh, executive session. Yeah, we can do it that way, or I have set up a separate session uh, that you all have links to. I don't have a real way to prevent people from coming in this session I don't think uh, all right 
So do we all log off and log back in? We have to log off and log back in. Right? You'd have to leave this meeting, yeah. I'm not. Oh, we do. Well, I mean, I can just ask the, the next meeting. We can just ask the attendees to log off. Yeah, I, I guess we'll do it that way. That's well, they wouldn't know when to come back for the rest of the meeting. My but... host has just walked out, so uh, uh, he won't I'll be. I tell you what. Why well, don't here? Here, I got. I have a a solution. If we switch other to to right now, then all we'd have is the executive session that's left, and there's be nothing left in this meeting. So the well, unless meeting. there was any action following the executive session, you okay. have to go back into have the action. The um, well, clearly we can think this through. Uh, so I guess we'll have to. Yes, Karen. Well, we we would you know probably take some official action outside of closed session. Yes, we would. I don't know if we can defer that to the beginning of the next meeting. Um, of course, that would be in our next fiscal year. I don't know. That was just a suggestion. Uh, that is a good suggestion. Why don't we do that? Why don't I don't know if that causes any problems for um, Susan or others. Well, we could make the we could make whatever decision we have during the, retroactive to yeah. uh, a certain time. Okay. I'm just questioning. Whatever we're discussing doesn't need immediate action. It possibly if so, could. then we have to vote on it tonight, don't we? Uh, no, I think anything we vote on in the executive session could probably be done retroactively. Yes. So, okay. So. Carolyn. I'm looking it to your better judgment. So are you saying that according to OMA, we do not need to vote in a regular meeting? No, oh, I'm saying that any, anything that's decided in the executive session will need to be voted on at a regular meeting, but we can okay. defer our vote till the next. We can, we can yes. do that, sure. defer it to another time, defer another it to day. the next meeting, sure. Because in every time we have an executive session, we, we, we vote, but it doesn't have to be at that meeting. I don't think there's any regulation that says that the vote has to be at that meeting because it's I'm an just, executive session. I don't know. I always thought it was, I just assumed it was expected to be done that way. Well, I think we can defer it till the next meeting. I don't know how else we can possibly allow and notify the public when to come back to for this meeting, unless you have a suggestion. Well, how did they get in in the first place? Didn't they just dial in? Well, they did, but how will they know? Our executive session could go on for an hour, could go on for 10 minutes. To go on for three minutes. Well, when they when they sign into Google, it'll say you have to wait for whoever's uh, running the meeting, right? Isn't that what it says? I mean, when they're sitting out in the library waiting for us to finish, they don't know when to come in either. Because we do, we open the door and we tell them to come in. But our executive session will be running in this meeting. How how we can't stop them from coming in? Oh, I see. We're going to use the general meeting yes. for the executive. Yes. I got yeah. it. I thought we were going to leave. All right. Yeah. Well, well, I, that but either way, problem. you know, they wouldn't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just my suggestion or Karen's suggestion. Well, if it's okay, with, if it's not a problem, then I guess we'll just do it that way. Okay. All right. I mean, all if right. not, can Susan just text them and tell them to come back and then we can get it all done tonight? Yeah, but we wouldn't know, we wouldn't know what other participants might want to join the meeting. I mean, oh. you know, these people might, but, you know, who knows who else. I mean, I think it's mostly staff at this point, and I, they actually, everybody else except Diane has now left. So, okay. so um, uh, i tell you what. Let's, to go into executive session. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, before we go into executive session, did anybody have anything in the other that they wanted to talk about? Well, I could leave, the, I could just walk out of the room, shut the door, and then Susan can let me know when you're done. <laughs> yeah, she, we are physically in the same building, so. Oh, you're in the same building, okay. Yeah. All right. If you want to do oh. that, I'll wait. All right. Fine. I have things to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, so we need to uh, make a motion to go into executive session. So moved. Karen? Second. All right. Yes. We're going to okay, so that's Take Karen. I have to take a vote. Karen? Yes, Diane, second. Yes. Right. Carolyn? Yes. Diane. Is that what we're doing? Sorry. Yes. Okay, right. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. 
Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. For those people on the, the, the meeting who are not board members, we are going to executive session and we're going to have to ask you to uh, exit the session. Everybody. And then how, what time is it? It is uh, 8.35. Okay. Now we're starting an executive session. Thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. I need a glass of water. Start the meeting. Okay. Now this session has to be recorded. I could stop the video recording and Diane Olson could like record it on her phone or one of you could record it on your phone. Um, or I can keep going and... I can uh, record it on my phone. It's fine. All right. All right. Thank you. Executive session. Going back to our normal portion of our meeting. And... So uh, I think, can I move to adjourn? You may make that movement. I was just going to do that. Second. Move? Okay. Patty seconds it. Uh, can Susan, you want to take the roll? Or I could, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll right. take the roll. Carolyn. Yes. Yes. I say yes. Tim says yes. Karen? Yes. Yes. Diane? Yes. Uh, Patty? Yes. Sue? Yes. Thank you and good night. Yes. Linda? Good night. Yes. Yes. Okay, everybody. Thank oh, you. Oh, peace. Great. Thank you, everyone. Have a good meeting. Good night. Bye, night. everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Are, we, uh, are we Zooming night. next month, or are we, uh, that's yet to be, are we I think we're going to be Zooming yep. for Maybe. quite some time. Zooming forever. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night, good night everyone. Bye, everyone.